क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इन हाउ मेनी डिफरेंट वेज कैन मीनू रीच द बुक शॉप हेयर इज मीनू एंड दिस इज बुक शॉप ही कैन रीच वन टू एंड थ्री वेज There is three ways to reach bookshop. Answer is option B. Question number four. If toffee means biscuit, biscuit means cake, and cake means burger, then dash is cut on the birthday. Kids, we cut cake on the birthday, but but here biscuit means cake. That means our answer is biscuit. Answer is option D. Question number five. The following students are in a dance group of a school. What fraction of total students are boys? First, let's count how many total students are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are total eleven students. And how many of them are boys? One. Two, three, four, five. There are total five boys out of eleven students. So the fraction of total students of boys are five by eleven. Answer is option B. Question number six. Rena planted some plants in the garden in some rows. If number of plants in a row is same as the number of rows. Then which option represents the total number of plant? The plants in the row is same as the number of rows. That means we will multiply the number of plants in the row and total number of plants. So both numbers are same. So answer is option A because here number of the rows and number of plants is same. Question number seven. For every birthday, Ria's parents put as much money in rupees in the piggy bank as her age in years. How much money will he be collected in the piggy bank when Ria becomes five year old? For every birthday, Ria's parents put put as much money in rupees. That means at her first birthday, they put one rupees. Then on second birthday, they put Two rupees. So, and if we add one to five, we will get one plus two plus three plus four plus five. The total is fifteen. So, on fifth birthday, there will be fifteen rupees. Answer is option C. Question number eight. The shopkeeper is selling. 9 kg sugar for rupees 360 rahat wants to buy 3 kg sugar how much does he have to to pay the cost of 9 kg sugar is rupees 360 so first we find out what is the cost of 1 kg sugar 1 kg is 360 divided by 9 if we subtract 360 by 9 is 40 you can subtract this like this also 9 fours are 36 so zero is here and we will put it here so 360 divided by 9 is 40 1 kg sugar is of rupees 40 and we have to find out the cost of 3 kg sugar because rahat wants to buy 3 kg So three k one kg is rupees forty. Three kg is forty multiplied by three. This is one hundred twenty. So answer is option D, one hundred twenty rupees. Question number nine. Find the difference between the place value of ten circle digit in the given number. This number is given four six three eight. The place value of six in four thousand six hundred thirty-eight is six hundred, and place value of eight is eight because it it is at ones place. So six 
we have to find out the difference between these two digits. 6000 minus 8 is 592. Answer is option B. Question number 10. Lalita has rupees 250. She wants to buy a handbag that costs rupees to 310. How much more money she need to buy the handbag? The cost of the handbag is rupees 310. And she has rupees 250. So how much more she need? 310 minus 250. It is 11, 10, 0 minus 0, 0. 11 minus 5 is 6. And here it is 0, 60. Answer is option C. Question number 11. The bar graph shows the number of children who wear glasses in four sections of class 3. Which class has the greatest number of children who wear glasses? Kids, here it is given that purple is boys and blue is for girls. In class 3E, 9 boys and 4 girls wear glasses. That is 9 plus 4, 13. In class 3B, 7 boys, 8 girls. 7 plus 8, 15. Total 15 students children wear glasses. In class 3C, 8 boys and 5 girls. This is 13. In class 3D, 9 girls and 5 boys. This is 9 plus 5, 14. So the greatest number of the children in class 3B wear classes. Answer is option B. Question number 12. Which of the following statements is needed to solve the given problem? Statement. This is given. Deepika buys 27 sheets of stamps. How many stamps does she buy in all? Statement 1. A sheet contains 100 stamps. Statement 2. Each stamp costs rupees 5. And we, the question is, how many stamps does she buy in all? That means we have to count the total number of stamps in 27 sheets. So we need, we only needed statement 1. As how many stamps are there in one sheet? We will get to know how many stamps are there in 27 sheets. Our answer is option A, only one. Question number 13. Rose multiplied by lotus equals 18. Rose minus sunflower equals 2. And lotus plus lotus equals 6. Find the value of sunflower. Kids, lotus plus lotus equals 6. So one lotus is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. So one lotus is 3. Here it is 3. Rose multiplied by 3 equals 18. So rose equals 18 divided by 3 equals 6. So the value of 1 rose is 6. So this is 6. 6 minus sunflower equals 2. So sunflower equals 6 minus 2. So 6 minus 2 is 4. Our answer is Option D. This is our answer. Option D. Kids, if you understand this question, please like the video. Question number 14. Find the value of x multiplied by y. Kids, this subtraction question is given. First, let's add 1 minus 4 is 7. That means this is 11. We borrow 1 from x. 11 minus 4 is 7. Now we have to find out the value of x. 6 plus 5 is 11. So x can be 11. But 
as we borrow 1 from here, from x to here, so x is 12. So x is 12, 1, if 1 will be either here, x cannot be 12, x is 2. The value of x is 2. And 7 minus y, we borrow 1 from here because we make it 12 x. So we borrow 1 from 7, so x 7 is 6. 6 minus y is 3, so 6 minus 3 is 3, so y is 3. And we have to find out the value of x multiplied by y. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. So our answer is option D is 6. Question number 15. Study the statements carefully. The length of rod P is 4 cm less than the length of rod Q. The length of rod R is 5 cm more than the length of rod P. The length of rod Q is 10 cm. Find A. Length of rod P B. The length of rod R. As it's given that rod Q is 10 cm. The length of rod Q is 10 cm. So we can find out the length of rod P. As rod P is 4 cm less than rod Q. So the length of rod P is 10 minus 4. That is 6 cm. So P is 6. And now let rod R is 5 cm more than the length of rod P. So length of rod R is 6 plus 5. As P is 6, so P plus 5 is 11. So rod R is 11 cm long. Answer is option D. P is 6 cm and R is 11 cm. For A, 6 and B, R. Answer is option D. Thanks for watching. Kids, if you find this video useful, please like, share with your friends and subscribe this channel.